Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to the first flipped lesson of fifth grade. If you've had flipped lessons before, you'll remember that on this page you need to pause and write the lesson number and title in your notebook. If you haven't had a flipped lesson before, here's your instructions now. This is lesson 1.2, place value of whole numbers. Please pause and write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to read and write whole numbers through the hundred millions. Please pause again to write the objective in your notebook. Today's lesson has a vocabulary word. The vocabulary word for today is period. A period is a group of three digits that are separated by a comma and a multi-digit number. In the example down below, we're looking at the number 650,084,970. And we know how to say that number because we look at each group of three and then we see a comma. That group of three is called a period. So we have the ones period, the thousands period, and the millions period. Every time we see a comma, that starts a new period. Please pause to write the vocabulary word and the definition in your notebook. Let's continue our flip lesson by opening our math books and looking at the unlock the problem for lesson 1.2. Remember that the flip lessons follow along with the pages in your math book and anything I write, you should write as well. Well, I'll read it this time. It says, the diameter of the sun is 1,392,000 kilometers. To understand this distance, you need to understand the place value of each digit in 1,392,000. A place value chart contains periods. A period is a group of three digits separated by a comma in a multi-digit number. The millions period is to the left of the thousands period. One million is one thousand thousands and is written as one comma zero 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 comma zero zero zero. And again, if you look, think about when we had the example on the page before, this is the ones period, the thousands period, and the millions period. And each number in there has its own place value. Remember the place value is where it lives. So if I'm looking at the two in this number, the two is in the thousands place. So if I look in the thousands place, there's my two. Its expanded form is two times 1,000 because it's in the thousands place and I know that that equals 2,000. Let's continue reading below. The place value of the digit one in 1,392,000 is in the millions place. The value of the one in 1,392,000 is one times one million, which is one million. So if we look in the millions column now, we have a one as the place value. Its expanded form is one times one million, and one times one million equals one million. So we could write this, remember from fourth grade, in three different ways. Standard form, word form, and expanded form. Standard form is the normal way that we see numbers, like this. Word form is that same word, or that same number, but written out in words. So one million comma three hundred ninety-two thousand, and we would be a comma here if the number continued on. And the last form is expanded form. Expanded form is if I take each place value times the value that it's in. So for 1,392,000, I look at the one first and it's in the millions place, so I have one times one million. And then I look at the next digit and it's a three. Three is in the hundred thousands place, so it's three times a hundred thousand. My next digit is a nine. 
So I have 9. It's in the 10 thousands place. So I have 9 times 10 thousand. And my last digit that's not a 0 is 2. And 2 is in the thousands place. So I have 2 times 1,000. And you'll notice between each one of those multiplies is an addition sign because we want to add each place value together to get the value of the whole number. Let's continue our lesson by doing the try this problem. It says, use a place value chart to read and write numbers. So I've gone ahead and inserted a place value chart on my page here. You can copy one down on your page to follow along. It says, we're going to use the standard form of this number, 582,031. So before I continue on, I'm actually going to go to my place value chart over here, and I'm going to fill in each number where it is place value is worth. So the first number that I see is a 5, and I see that it is after the comma. So I have 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, comma, and I don't have a number with a second comma, so I know that 5 goes in the hundred thousands. So that 5 is worth 500 thousands. My next digit is an 8. 8 is right next to it. That's in the ten thousands place. My next digit is a 2, and 2 is in the two thousands place, and then I see my comma. I don't have any numbers in the hundreds place. It's a 0, so I just fill it in with a 0. And then I have a 3 in the tens place for 30. And I have a 1 in the ones place. So this number is 582,000, 31. And that is our standard form of the number. The next one says we're going to fill in the blanks for word form. Word form is if we say it out loud, then it will help us tell us what that number is. And then we just write it down in words. So we have 582, okay, if I look back at the number, I have 582,000. So my next one is 582, the word is thousand. Okay, and then we see the comma, that's good. And then after the word thousand, so look back at our original number, 582,000. 31. So our next blank is the number 31. And mine ran out of space a little bit, so I'm going to write underneath, but you should have room on your page. Thirty-one. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to write an expanded form. I'm going to change color here so you can see the difference. Expanded form is when we say the factor times its place value. So for 500,000, we have 5 times 100,000. Okay, so we're done with that number. Our next number is an 8. The 8, we said, is in the 10 thousands place, so it will be 8 times 10 thousand. Our next digit is a 2, and it's two in the thousands place, so 2 times 1,000. All right. Now our next digit is a zero. We just skip a zero when we don't have any number there. And we go to our 30. The three is in the tens place, so I say three times 10. And then we just have the one on the end. We could say one times one, but it's just gonna be one. So we just say plus one. At the bottom it says, the average distance from Jupiter to the sun is 438,600,000 miles. Write the number that shows that distance. And when they say the number, they mean standard form. So we want to go back to our words and read them and watch for our commas. So I'm going to go back up here and underline our number is 483,600,000. So start at the top. 483 million comma. So 483 comma. Now our next one says 600,000. So 600,000. And they didn't tell us any numbers in the hundreds, the tens, or the ones. So we fill them in with zeros. So this is our number, 483,000 million six 
800,000. All right, fifth graders, you're almost finished, but you have one more activity to do. Each lesson in the fifth grade flipped lessons will have a lesson activity. In order to complete your flipped lesson, you will need to complete the lesson activity and show it to your teacher when you are finished. Your lesson activity needs to be written in your math notebook. You need to show your work and have everything proven when you're ready to see your teacher. So it says we're going to write the value of the underlined digit. So the underlined digit here is the number four and the value of it is how much it's worth. So if you had me in fourth grade last year, what I would say is if I was going to give you that, mon that number four in money, how much money would I be giving you? Is that $40? Is that $4,000? So how much money is that four worth? That's your first problem. And the second problem says write this number in two other forms. So remember we had three forms, word form, standard form, and expanded form. This number looks like it's already in standard form, so you need to write word form and expanded form. If you're not sure how to complete this activity, rewatch your flipped lesson for any clues, look in your math pages for any clues, and if you're totally stuck, then bring it to me and tell me I'm totally stuck and we'll solve the problem. Good job completing your first flipped lesson of fifth grade.